Hey everybody, Lisa Looper here and Flashbang Julie. We want to teach you some tips and tricks for the Flashbang holster. A lot of questions about our snaps. Yeah, number one question we get asked. Yes. We like the snaps to be extremely tight, so it may be difficult for some of you to get them undone. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you the easiest way to do it. All you have to do is peel up like a banana, mm -hmm. just like that. The inside of the snap has a lip on it right yeah. there. And all you have to do is tuck it back onto the snap, push down, and you're good to go. Yep, and it's that rolling action that makes it easy. So yep. if you hook the little lip and roll it shut, and then basically when you peel it, you're rolling it open. Yep. It's a safety snap. It keeps it from coming off when we don't want it to come yep. off. One common issue that girls have, Lisa, is sweating. That's right. And that can cause a flashbang to slip, which is no good. Right. You can easily remedy this by running to the local drugstore or grocery store mm -hmm. and pick up some moleskin. It's really cheap. And just for you that don't know, moleskin is stuff that you use for your shoes. So if you have a high yeah. heel that's rubbing, it's kind of like felt, but it's got a sticky back on it. Yep. And it'll stick right on the flashbang. Yep. All you have to do is slap some on the back right mm -hmm. there. At the end of the day, peel it off and slap a new piece on. And all you have to do is wipe down your flashbang with some hot soapy water and a washcloth and you're good to go. Right, that's the reason we didn't want to put it on there permanently. Yes. If we had that stuff on there, can you imagine getting all sweaty yeah. and then putting that back on the next day? Gross. I love that you can wash it. Yeah. Really good point. Good yeah. angels. Thank you. So one thing to talk about whenever you talk about a flashbang slipping is the different positions that you can put it in. There are two carry positions for a flashbang and you achieve them by adjusting the strap. So right now it's set up in low carry. The band of my bra would go through right here. And so the holster would sit down below my bra, not much of it would be tucked up underneath, and that's how it would carry. And if you can see right now on me, this one's wanting to kick out a little bit. So if you're having that problem, chances are you need to go to high carry. All you do to accomplish that, peel open your flashbang, that little screw right there, you loosen it up just a little bit, rotate your strap around to point down. So now when you put this on, you tuck it up under the bra band, that snap pops over the top of the bra band, you close it, roll it shut, like that, and see how much higher that sits? Now it's against me a little closer, it rides a little higher, and it keeps it from slipping. This but is actually my favorite way to carry. This is my normal carry too, and it really depends on what bra I'm wearing, what gun I'm carrying, you know, there's a difference day to day. So you just kind of play with it and see what feels comfortable. Yep, definitely personal preference. Yes. So something that I hear on the internet all the time. Every show I'm at, I get this. Yes, if I had a dollar for every time I heard this, I'd be rich. Yes. You're gonna shoot your boob off. Girls, there is no way to shoot your boob off. See right here, the trigger guard is completely covered whenever your gun's in the holster. This tucks up under the bra band, so it's just like that with the strap around the bra band. My trigger guard is still completely covered. I've actually tried to get my finger in there and pull the trigger and it made me bleed before I got trigger access. Yeah. So it would have to be incredibly intentional to do that. So as your gun is sitting in the holster, you start to draw, reach up and grab it. No trigger access. You pull, the bra stretches. Pull, the bra stretches. See, I still have no trigger access right here. And about here, the bra gets tired of stretching and it pops back. And you see how I have that forward momentum right there? I'm coming forward ready to shoot, and at that point I have trigger access, but I have the gun nowhere pointing toward me. As you're drawing, you've got good trigger control, you've got your trigger covered until it's clear of your body, and you've got forward momentum at the same time. Yes, no way to shoot your boob off. No. So we get this at customer service a lot also, girls. You sent me a lefty when it's really a righty. Mm -hmm. One thing you always want to make sure is that your snap is facing away from your body. This is not the correct way to tuck in a flashbang. You always want the snap to be this way for a right hand draw and a left hand draw. The snap will always be facing forward. This is true. I think a lot of times women are not wearing their holster correctly. They might have it set up to where it dangles underneath their bra band. And if I have it on like that, I'm thinking, oh gosh, that doesn't work right. But if I turn it around this way and dangle it, it works better. The problem is the dangling, not that it's a left handed holster. So adjust your holster properly, tuck it up underneath the bra band so it holds itself in place and make sure your snap is pointing forward to know which hand your holster is. So one thing that I think is really cool, and I've gotta give credit where credit's due on this one. If you guys haven't seen Lima Tunes on YouTube, you definitely need to check her out. She's very knowledgeable about tactics as well as firearms and knives and holsters and everything else. She does great in-depth reviews, but she mentioned to me that if you draw the flashbang the traditional way, 
and you pull down and clear your shirt and then come up to shoot, if you're in a close quarter situation, like if you and I were struggling, you could, when I pull the holster or the gun down, pin it against my stomach yeah. and I couldn't get up there to shoot you. Yeah. So she invented what's called the flashman tactical draw. And I love this. It just makes it a little faster. And I mean, average draw time on the flashbang is like 1.4 seconds. Yep. So I don't know how fast this one is, but Quick. it's really fast. So you either grab through your shirt or reach up under your shirt, and you don't come clear of your shirt on this one. Um, and you should note that that gives you on a semi-auto, that's pretty much a one-shot situation because your gun is going to get jammed up with fabric and things like that. If you have a revolver, you might get a few more shots going. But um, if somebody's that close, you're going to get good good coverage, I think, on this one, even if you only have one shot. Yeah. So flashbang tactical draw, reach up, grab the gun, and twist. So you don't have any downtime, you don't have any chance for them to pin it against you. You've got it there ready to go. Quick. Yeah. I would like to also point out, girls, practice drawing from your flashbang. It needs to become second nature to you. Absolutely. You take your gun, get it unloaded, make sure that it's safe, take all the ammo out of the room. Yes. And sit there and draw and reholster the correct way and just, you know, practice. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. Thanks for watching our tips and tricks. If you girls have any other tips and tricks that you'd love to share with us, just shoot me an email at julie at flashbangholster.com and we'll review them for you. Right, or any questions you'd like to have answered. We'd love to take care of that here on our YouTube channel or you can check us out on Facebook or on our webpage, www.flashbangholster.com. See you next time. Bye. Flashbang. Can you see both of us? Are you ready? Are you ready? One, two, three. Ah! <laughs> there you go. One, two, three. Ah! Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? <laughs> Here we go. Nope, we gotta flip. We gotta go towards each other. You'll shoot your boob off. Ah! I shot your boob off. Yeah. One, two, three. Ah! Yes! Yeah! <laughs> it looks adorable. Julie, what's wrong with your flashbang?